everyone, George from ZenHub here with another two and a half minute tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover ZenHub Sprints, automated sprint planning for teams. Here we are in ZenHub. Let's help this team move from manual sprint planning to automated sprint planning using ZenHub. Before we do, let's go and look at their velocity report and see that their average is 52 points. All right, let's remember that. Back to the board, click the green plus button and then set up sprints for your team. So this team is in the middle of a sprint that runs from Monday to Friday. And you'll see that ZenHub will now automatically create sprints for you every two weeks starting on Monday. Now, if your sprints don't start on Mondays, that's fine. You just come in, pick a Wednesday, the Tuesday, and you'll see that that schedule gets created. This team runs Monday through Friday, so let's set that up. All right, next, not everything gets done every sprint. So ZenHub will now automatically move unfinished issues from one sprint to the next. Our sprint plan will keep a record of what was planned versus achieved. Your sprint plan is the list of all of the issues underneath the burndown report. Next, we can automatically add issues into your new sprint. You remember that average? 52. Now let's pick a pipeline to pull from. So what this means is that at the end of the sprint, ZenHub will add up to 52 points worth of issues from your backlog to your new sprint. It's like magic. Let's click Create Sprints. Let's move all of the work in the milestone over to the new sprint. So click Milestone, click Select All, and then Set Sprint, pick the new sprint, and click Done. And that's it. Now, a lot of people's backlogs aren't always in great shape. Don't worry about it. Just get the top of your backlog in good shape because that's where ZenHub is gonna pull from. Once you start using sprints and the automation power they provide, you'll never go back to milestones. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. See you next time.